What is going on with our Calgary residential real estate market? Well, I'm Chris Matlaszewski, and I'm going to take a couple of minutes here and get you delved in. I'm first going to look at uh, some of the stats that we've got going for the month of February. Uh, I'm going to look at the inventory, the months of supplies, and the amount of sales that have been happening. Uh, then I'm going to look into March here, and we're going to break down what's been happening here for the last 10 days, or the start of the first 10 days, and coming into uh, our spring season here with inventory from all... Um, all styles of homes. So without further ado, let me get uh, locked and loaded here and share my screen with you. So I'm going to start and um, looking at uh, February here for the months of, um, for the performance here, for the sales by the price range. You know, it's really interesting that we had um, 1,700, almost 1,750 in sales last month. And only 30% of those sales are above um, 600,000. That uh, means that the bulk of the market right now, which is super hyper and active, is under that 600. And, um, and you know, there's no question. We see, you know, first-time buyers, we're seeing some move-up buyers, we're seeing investors, um, you know, we're seeing kind of all walks of life in that. And then as we start getting uh, humping, getting over that crest of 600, we start seeing that the uh, sales uh, for the total of 1750 starts to drop off there quite a bit. And here you can see that, um, you know, there was of that approximately 400 sales uh, over 600K. So, you know, right now, if you've got the opportunity to make a move up, uh, you are definitely looking at uh, getting a really decent buy. If you're coming into the market here, a little bit more challenging, but I would be focusing on uh, the apartment sector. It's very vibrant, very active, but still one of the most affordable that you can look at. Um, and if you're looking uh, to move up, get that yard space, a bigger home, uh, maybe it's more updated over that 700k mark, we're starting, we're still seeing price reduction. So, you know, people ask me all the time, like, what is going on with the market? It really does depend. And, um, you know, right now, it's, you know, inventory versus, uh, you know, price point. So, you know, that's sort of segueing in. And if we look at the inventory levels that we had in for the month of February there, you can see again, that, um, you know, the, you know, there starts to see be more inventory and supply over that 600k range than there is underneath we just can't seem to replenish right now um you know with that being said i'm very um a non-skeptical right now that the market is going to diminish um at least right now with the bank of canada announcing yesterday that they're going to be holding their Prime rate there at four and a half percent. They feel that inflation has come down to around three percent right now, and um, you know, it'd be great if um, you know uh, inflation did come down to under two percent there uh, or around two percent, but uh, likely not going to happen. We still see a lot of programs out there and a lot of loan repayments that are happening. So uh, stay tuned on that, but overall uh, positive that they have elected. I think it was the first time in over a year that they're not doing a rate hike. So that's really good to know, um, you know, and it's positive that it, you know, should keep uh, Calgary's market uh, moving along there. Uh, what else can I share with you? What's hot? Uh, row houses and townhomes. We'll talk about that for the first day, uh, for the first 10 days that we have had uh, for uh, residential sales here in March. Um, then I'm going to look at, um, you know, so all, all in all, our inventory levels are down 25% year over year. And, um, you know, we definitely need replenishment. But I think when, you know, one of the challenges is, is, you know, those that would be move up buyers or, you know, entry level just, you know, um, wouldn't be able to sell, you know, their first time home kind of thing, and and move up into that market. So a um, little bit of a challenge there on inventory, um, you know, which keeps our pricing at bay where it is, whereas the rest of the country not saying that they're floundering, but you know, you're definitely seeing price drops all over the place. Uh, new listings as well, down 50%, um, you know, year over year at uh, just under 2,400 listings. So, you know, this time last year, we had close to five 5,000 listings. So that's, that's a significant drop there. And, you know, correlating to the inventory levels, you know, we can look at the months of supply here. I can enlarge the screen a bit. You know, here you can see that, um, you know, the uh, inventory levels under that 600 range is really kept at bay for the most part, you know, under one and a half months of supply. And then as you crest over that 600 range, you start seeing, you know, over two, two and a half months, three months of supply and as high as five, you know, five months worth of supply over that million dollar range. So, you know, 
unless it's a very unique property or uh, really well built, um, you know, some sort of advantage over a million bucks. That is where the deals can be had right now with time to think and ponder and, you know, feel like you're making the right decision. If you're under that 600 K range, you definitely are, you know, in a shotgun position and, um, you know, forced to react quickly. So make sure you have all your ducks in a row. Make sure that you've got a great agent that you're working with that understands the market conditions um, and also understands, you know, the styles of homes, because there are some properties that are sitting on the market a little bit longer than the average prices are. Um, so let's jump into what's going on in March here for the first 10 days. Going to look at uh do you start off with detached homes here? Here you can see that there's about 1,100 uh, detached homes currently on the market right now. Uh, for the first 10 days, uh, pretty solid. We've got uh, over 330 properties that have sold already. You know, keep in mind that some of those would have already been conditionally sold uh, uh, at the tail end of uh, February there with the average price of 758000 I mean, you know, this time last year, we were around 650 So that's really positive to see. Um, most of that inventory uh, that we're seeing sell, as I had shared with you, is under that 650 range. Uh, so, you know, the sale to list price is, is over 100% right now. Uh, it's crazy. And our days on market is under 30 days. All in all, really encouraging to see. Um, Next, we're coming into the semi-attached there. We see that uh, we have 63 properties that have sold. So, you know, a little bit um, little bit under the numbers there of uh, single-family homes. And, um, you know, we can see that the semi-attached, that the average price point is 570. And, um, but all in all, um, Days on market and list to sale price are very encouraging there again under 30 days and, you know, stuff selling at, you know, over 90, close to 99 to 100% uh, when it's priced right. So that's really encouraging to see uh, inventory levels low in that range. Coming into the row housing market, uh, hot, hot, hot right now. So you can see that our inventory levels are uber low. Um, one of the reasons why the sales percentage is pretty low is because there's just not a lot of inventory there. But you can see that the um, average price point is uh, close to four hundred thousand, and um, you know it it's it, it's moving there. But you know we've seen it uh, cresting as high as uh, I think in February uh, around four hundred sixty thousand dollars. So you know it's that lower end stuff. But there's certainly a demand for uh, semi-attached homes or row houses under that 500k mark, you know, in days on market, 25 days. So really vibrant there. Um, next coming into apartment sector, this is where the most activity is happening right now. You can see here that there's been um, uh, there we go. Um, they've already got 210 sales. There's 750 properties that are currently on the market. So this is actually fairly fairly balanced right now, or it's one of the more balanced, but it's also one of the most vibrant markets. Uh, 32 days on market there. You know, the average price point up, like I think 11% year over year still. Um, so I mean, if you held on to a condo, uh, you'd be you'd be looking like you were brilliant, um, you know, to do so. Whereas over a year and a half ago, I mean, this uh, this was just a dog's breakfast for the last five or six years. Still currently down over the uh, the peak of the market there, but um, you know, I think it's like seven percent under what it was in 2014. So all in all, uh, positive things happening in the apartment sector there. Uh, so if you're a first time buyer, this, you know, it's a good market. It's balanced. Um, you know, you still have time to find selection on it. So pretty decent. Uh, I did want to touch a little bit onto the investment side there. I wanted to look at full du uh, full duplexes. Um, you know, we had three sold. We've got limited inventory on the marketplace right now. And this is one of the things that's driving, you know, the sales right now. So when people, you know, um, we sold the duplex uh a couple of weeks ago, we got a fourplex for sale right now. Uh, you know, and people are thinking that 900000 is expensive, you know, just for a duplex right now, 825000 you know, about 410 per side, you know, days on market. It's not lasting long. So really, really vibrant, you know, the amount of investors that we have coming from out of province, uh, you know, they're looking at cap rates right now at uh, just over 5%. They think that's a deal. It's a deal. So, um, you know, people in Calgary are a little bit gun shy, but um, not much I can tell you there other than the fact that there is demand for that product. And then rounding out, we're going to look at fourplexes here. Uh, we can see that already there's been five fourplexes sell, you know, that average price point over a million, uh, just under a million one right now. 
about 65 days on market to sell. But, you know, I, I, I feel like, um, you know, if it's priced right, you know, um, you should be down under that 40 days on market right now. So that's kind of, um, you know, where we're at. I mean, our prices are still below, you know, what they were at the, uh, at the peak of the market last year at the end of our tail end of April coming into May there. Um, you know, so the next couple of months, you know, if inventory continues to stay low and, and, you know, people are looking for accommodations and places to places to live, you know, our vacancy rates are, su are super, super low right now. Um, you know, there's just demand on, uh, on income properties or on, on rental, so to speak. So, um, you know, and that's also putting people back into that marketplace, you know, where they're looking at it thinking, well, you know, it sort of makes more sense to, uh, to own than it does to rent. And there's a little bit more security with that. So with all that being said, if you'd like to know what your house would sell for, and, you know, more importantly, if you don't want to get, uh, caught, you know, holding two properties, you know, um, talk to us about our trade-up program. Um, but one of the things that we're doing right now, and we're studying the market really hard and, you know, if you'd like to know what your home would sell for, and, you know, we feel that we're pretty accurate on our representation on giving you um, or guaranteeing you, you know, full, mar full market value for the price of your home, or we will guarantee you the difference. Uh, give us a call 403-809-3523. Remember, we're not just uh, Calgary Realtors, we're Calgary born and raised. So that's, uh, that's my dog and pony show for you. Um, Hope you get some information on it. If you'd like to know anything else specifically about your community, give us a call. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your uh, blue sky chili start of the March. Cheers.